Hey guys, Minecraft Out Derp here, and welcome to Scribble Knots Unlimited. So, um, I got a laptop, and this is, um, a really good game. I've been playing on my old PC, which, uh, doesn't work anymore. So, just Minecraft Part 16 is toyed, but, uh, I really like this game, so I thought I'd play it, and, um, perhaps was a bit staggering on this at first, but now it works for some reason. Hopefully. Hopefully it works. I don't want to go and jinx it. But, uh... And, uh, it's really fast on this computer. This game is, um... On my last computer, it was a bit slow, but hopefully it works. I've tried to record this on my old computer, but it just failed, so... Anyways, gonna start, and, um, yeah, let's do this. Our story begins with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Wow. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. <laughs> Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there, having lunch. <laughs> they competed like this on adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long-lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. Oh! The two of them so semi-retired to start a family. And they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. Wow! What? One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof, the word would come to life. Huh. Is that Dr. Wiley's castle in the background? Nah. These kids are so spoiled. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats. That's what I just so said. they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. Mm. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. I am an old man. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. Oh. The old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, oh no, he it's called us spoiled wizard. little kids, and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. Just Minecraft for 17. But when Maxwell turned there. to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. And something else. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me what? to stone. Didn't do anything. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites! Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. When you do enough things to make others happy, you will find starite. Wow. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, that's it! I'm gonna go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the starites in the world, and I'm gonna make you better, Lily. Aww. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. If Lily was his crush instead of his sister, it'd be a better plot, but, eh. Eh. See how fast this is running. Just look at this. Look at this! This may not be so amazing for you, but for me, I love it. You don't. I use the WASD keys instead of the mouse because it's a lot faster. Wow, even you walk faster, I think, with the WASD keys. Huh. Uh, the basics. Earn a star right by helping Edwin with his award-winning pig. Turn the run to the litter into an award-winning pig. Write an object to help Maxwell scrub the pig. Pipe something to clean the pig. Uh, sponge. 
Shouldn't we wet the sponge first? Yeah. Click the progress bar for the current hint. Nope. I don't know what that means. Like when the and when people have like gears and stuff, it just like and they walk towards an object and they don't do anything with it. I don't know what what it's supposed to do. The pig looks great. Now use an adjective to increase the pig size. Well, for some things I do, but not for all. Like for that, what would a pig do with a sponge? She's already clean. Okay. Uh, type an adjective to increase the size of the pig. Uh, guard. Gantuin. That's a good word. Oh, wow. Uh, help the pig win the talent competition. Use an adjective and a noun to create wings large enough to carry the pig. Well, well. Hints are unlocked over time. Click the associated object to view its hint. I need wings large enough to help me fly. So, well, f wings that can hold up a gargantuan pig would have to be gargantuan wings. I tried making chicken wings once, that didn't go so well. Uh, the magic backpack stores objects for later. Throw the wings into the backpack and wait for the judges to arrive. Okay. Yeah. And drag the wings to the pig. Blah 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 That's all anyone ever talks in this game. That's how everyone talks. That's what I meant. I mean, third is like a normal pig. Then second is like a guinea pig where you just add the edge of guinea to the pig. And then, um... Mine just takes the prize. I want to name him Edwin Jr. Hmm. Total star rights, one. I think we did pretty good. What do you think? I'm kidding. Um, earn shards by helping people. Ten shards will form a star right. Use star right vision to find shards. A star right vision is really laggy on my old computer. And, um... You can also hit V to trigger star right vision. Oh, vision! I was wondering why you didn't hit S, but that's for the uh, down button. Um, so let's see. Ugh, it's not laggy at all. Wow. I'm surprised. Help the sprout grow. Turn off star right vision. Okay. Uh, water bucket. Try something else. Okay. Um. Nuggets. <laughs> Bucket of water. Try making. Try making rain. Uh, so you just tell me what to do? Well, no. No. Chocolate rain. Just. Oh my. Uh Oh dear, that is a man-eating plant. The Fiend's fly trap. Uh, the plant scared away the other shard opportunity. Reset the level to return all objects to their original state while keeping your own shards. Okay. Reset. Yes. While the notepad can create many things, vulgarity, copyrighted materials, and proper nouns are not allowed. That is why the Steam Workshop exists. Help me! Oh, my kitty is stuck on top of the tree. Get her for me. I'm not a big cat person, you know. So I'll just get someone else to do it. Firemen. Yeah, you do. What the? Firemen do not chop down trees, and now she's in love with a fireman. Everyone has a love but me. Congrats! Learning the basics was just the first step towards saving Lily. Use the bus stop be to begin your journey in Capital City. Ooh, I can meet some babes in the city. Um, click Maxwell to select Pick Avatar to play as any unlocked brother. Now I want to show you that. Um, you can pick the avatar, where you and you unlock brothers over time. So now I can bless Edwin since I beat the tutorial, and um, like. 
see, I can do this now, and play as Edwin, and, uh, create a paradox. Hi, Edwin. I'm you. Yeah, um, I'll get into that more, um, you can also create your own avatar, my bad, um, based off of other characters, I'll get into that more in the next episode, um, so yeah, for now, I'm just gonna stick to Maxwell, and, um, I'm MattCraft.derp, and I'll see you guys next time when we'll go into the city, and, uh, hopefully, meet some babes. So, uh, catch you later. Bye.